Hi guys. Hi everybody's doing. I'm doing great. Everything is good in here in Florida. We have some rain today. A little real rain. Thanks God. I love the rain. Why? Because my plants get water equal and then um, I don't have problems with uh, uh, over watering it or, or too dry or anything. First of all, what I like to talk about it is very, very um, quick. I sent all the desert roses out a week ago, I think. Uh, yeah, a week ago. Last Thursday, not last Thursday. So it's a little over a week ago. And I know some of you, you guys are very, very stressed out. And I can understand. You cannot find the, uh, the um, Timberline pine nuggets. And... Oh my God, what happened to my hat? I need my hat. <laughs> I need my hat. I need to cover my hair. Anyway, you cannot find the Timberline Pine Nuggets. Please, please don't stress out. It's not, not is impossible in this life, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. Fine, no Pine Nuggets. What are you gonna do? Just move on, move on, and, and, and uh, look for a solution. And the solution is, as many many mixes you can do they will have good drain but you will not have the pine bark the beautiful desert roses like okay it's fine maybe i'm gonna call laws and i'm gonna tell them they need to have available and all the laws why because according to the run the runs all castle the he runs the old castle company i talked to him few times and he promised me they did what available in the whole United States a loss. And I'm finding now every day they are not. So I talked to him and according to him, I need to call loss and ask him to please, please have an available. Okay? If anybody that works in loss is watching this video, I hope so. Please, but I doubt it anyway. Is working in loss, please help us out. Have those mini Timberline mini pine nuggets uh, made by uh, all cars available. Why? Because they like the asset, okay? They like the asset, the drawing is good, they're healthy, okay? So it's something I'm gonna have to work on next week. The, next week. Okay, now let's move on. What are you gonna use if you don't find it? This is what you're gonna use, okay? What are you gonna use? You're gonna get PMAS, you're gonna get perlite, Okay, P mass per light and cocoa peat. Okay, and you're gonna have if it's available, it's not like you have to have it. The main thing is the uh, Asmoco 141414 14, 14 low release. Okay, 1414 14 low release for the desert roses because this low release is very good product and the desert roses love it and uh, the high nitrogen and the desert roses need it. If you have perhaps to have sulfur available, you need to use sulfur and phosphorus. Sulfur and phosphorus, okay? Uh, it's very important why keep the plants healthy, very, very healthy, okay? So um, you're gonna have uh, these three products, okay? The pea mass, perlite, and cocoa pea. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna use 40% uh, uh, cocoa pea, that is real good. You're gonna use 40% PMAS and you're gonna use 20% per light. Okay? There's you 100%. Okay? Then what are you gonna do? You're gonna use some uh, sulfur. It depends how much you're gonna miss. I cannot tell you. If you're gonna miss the whole bag, or oh, um, you need a big batch, but it says uh, maybe uh, you need, it says you need. 40 pounds, okay, for example. So the best thing to do is to put a cup of asmocot, a cup of sulfur, and a cup of phosphorus, and mix it all together for you desert roses and plant them, or plant them. This, if perhaps you have uh, uh, pine bark, doesn't matter what size, pine bark, Put this much in the bottom of the pot. That will increase the, the, the uh, drainage to be more better, okay? No rocks. You have a uh, pine bark, just put a little bit in the bottom, 
and then the next will be the ingredients we just discussed okay so then uh, follow the instructions number three and number four and you set if you have any questions feel free to call me or text me I'm very very busy and I love everybody I'm getting to the point they cannot answer the questions on YouTube so this is what I'm thinking to do okay they will be fair for everybody now okay and Friday or Saturday I will sit in my in my cottage for six hours every once a week and I will have my phone with me and I will be waiting for phone calls to answer to answer you you can use whatsapp or you can use regular regular uh, regular phone you can use your phone and call me or if you don't have available uh, you in another country you can use whatsapp to call me and I will answer my I answer my questions for a period of five hours every week and then um, and then you you don't get, you don't get to get a hold of me for a reason I'm the phone or something you will have to wait until the next follow week and let me know what you think because it's not about me it's about what you want and what you think okay I like everybody happy so let me know text me or make a comment okay now I got this present from ah this lady this la little girl this CB CB It'll, this is what you send me CB okay this is what you send me oh my god I can't wait to open it okay I just got it this morning and I'm very very excited doesn't matter what it is I'm very I'm very um, thankful for this person sending me this I don't know what she sent me <laughs> it's so cute she sent she sent she test me and said that she's gonna send me a box so oh my god a box a box of full of, look at what she did is this cute wasn't here I don't know oh my goodness look at this I don't have this it's so cute look at this this is one of the this is one of the USA allo species I don't know the name but I'm gonna find it out and I had three in here I actually have four to plant look at this all I gotta do is clean them up she sent me this ah thanks 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 look at this is that sweet I don't know people sometimes people are so so adorable and sweet why she put it in these cases that was smart they protect it oh my god look at this is this sweet look at this I don't have this one either and they are a little dehydrated but I'm gonna plant them right now in my cactus soil well oh my god she must have a nurse nursery I'm joking look at this cute little thing she sent me I'm gonna plant it very very I'm very thank you thank you that's so much oh my god she sent me the whole the whole garden oh my goodness look at this this some type of cactus I'm not sure if it's a Christmas cactus or no because it's very big leaves you see this is this sweet thank you thank you my, 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 my. <laughs> it's not about if she sent me plants I'm happy you know what I mean little plants like this I'm so happy but I don't want you guys to spend any money because I, oh my goodness look at this I don't hear this la 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 I'm so happy la la I hear one more well she even sent me everything so sweet oh I have more oh my goodness I don't want to keep the others there because I'm private so um something else here oh my goodness uh, what's this oh my goodness look how sweet it is this she sent me some type of um jay is this cute and everything is rooted but i love this one this is my favorite look at this this is some type of zebra and i think has to be allo also allo family but i'm not 100 sure Oh my goodness, this lady sent me. Oh, I have more. Can you believe that? Oh my God. She must have a nursery. I'm joking. Anyway, I know she sent me some of her house and that's very, very sweet and well appreciated by me. And you don't believe, by the way, you sent me this plant today. Okay? Look at this. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh my goodness. This is a, uh, this definitely is a uh, Hoya. Some type of Hoya. Beautiful. And this is other hoy, I think. I'm not sure. I gotta look at it. But look all these plants that she sent me. You see how sweet people are? 
That's how we're supposed to be. Happy, share, have fun, and be happy. Doesn't matter what. If we're alive, might as well be happy, huh? So anyway, you don't believe what happened. So anyway, this sweet lady sent me all these babies. Good. So, I'll put it here, put it here. I'm gonna put it, uh, right now I'm gonna plant them, okay? Right now. And I'm gonna put him here. So anyway, she sent me this. This morning, I get a test from um, Alabama, Alabama. And her name is Cindy. Cindy, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, Cindy. Cindy, and she's from Alabama. She tells me, she said she wants to buy a plant. And um, she has some family issues. I'm not gonna go into detail because it's private. And uh, I'm not gonna go into detail. Uh, all I can tell you, Cindy, my heart is broke. My heart is broke. I cannot imagine being in your position. I'm serious. I will not want anybody in this area to be in the position. But look at the plants I just got. Well, guess what, Cindy? You're gonna get this box full of goodies free for you, okay? I don't give it free to everybody, but I do sometimes a little bit. But you're gonna get this baby free, full of freebies for you. And Cindy, you gotta get, get out. And every time you feel like getting sad, like I talked to you this morning, you're gonna get up and you're gonna go take care of these babies, okay? No crying, take care of the babies. Okay, every time you go and take care of your babies, you wanna cry, fine, cry, but cry when you're working with your babies. Okay, Cindy, I love you. I love you forever and ever. Okay, now, um, I have too much going on, I'm serious. I have 100 videos a day if I have to. I got a lot of requests over the uh, ma uh, couple of years. Please, please, Maria, show us a video about how to start succulents from leaks. Okay, so what I decide, um, this is what you do. Okay, I had I had like four trays of this. I didn't air dry them at all. I don't air dry them. Why? Because I don't want to air dry them. Each one, most of them, this is not good. This is not good. This I don't know. Yeah, but most of them, they you can see. They do have, they're coming up, these are big. This, 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 this is almost ready to plant, okay? So I have six trays like this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So how I do this? Just get your tray with your, your cup of soil. That will be the same soil we use for growing succulents. The same thing, okay? And this is one of my videos, how to grow succulents the easy way. So you watch that. If you go there and watch the video, you know what kind of soil you have to use, okay? So this is what you do. This is exactly what you wanna propagate. So you have to have good cuts, and the cuts has to be good, okay? This is what you gotta do. We're gonna propagate this one, this beautiful one. Okay? You have to, you cut them over here, you have to have a good cut. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So what you do, you go side, side to side, side to side to break it. Don't pull or don't do anything else because otherwise it's going to, not gonna be successful, okay? So I just grab one, where it go? Oh, here. So this is what you're gonna do. You have your dry soil here, okay? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna do this. No air dry knee, okay? You're gonna do this, okay? Just like this, okay? And it's so simple. Make sure they're up, so you just put it like this, okay? You can put them anywhere you want, you know what I mean? I just like to make um, things with them. I like to make it like fun, okay? So this one, this one and this one over here. So then after that, I'm gonna go between here. Oops, this one over here. And it's easy, just go like this. And you can pull different types of uh, little seeds. You don't have to dry them. So I have many here. I have a lot. And I have a lot of new growth. Why? You see all these new growth? I don't know you remember because you watch my videos regular. You saw this beautiful pool. Well, I cut it, I cut it, I cut it everywhere. If you get closer, you can show and look at what I cut it. Please, 
you get closer, you can show him where I cut the succulent maybe a month ago, I cut it here, I cut it here, I cut it, and you can see all these cuts over here. The reason I want, I cut it, because I want it to be more, the, 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 the trunk and the stems to get healthy, okay, and have uh, more babies, so you can see there's a lot, a lot of growing going on in this succulent, okay? Why? Because I want it healthy. It's not about propagate, propagate. It's about having healthy succulents. When you trim it in the top, they get very, very healthy, okay? So this over here, um, you can go on and on, okay? It's the only thing with this, I'm gonna say is, the only thing about this way, all I'm gonna tell you, be honest, you have to have a lot of patience, okay? If you don't have patience, this process takes about six months, okay? So you don't have patience, it's not for you. You might as well do cuttings, okay? Cuttings, and you don't need to air dry, and you watch my video, how to start succulents the easy way. So this is what you do, okay? Like this, just like this. After you have this tray full of these babies over here, what are you gonna do is um, let them be. Maybe three weeks, four weeks, you're gonna see no water, leave it like this, okay? No water at all, leave it like that. And I'm not gonna tell you one, two, three weeks because it's not such thing. Everybody lives different places, either country or states in the USA. Anyway, uh, uh, and wherever you live, it's gonna be different climate, different weather, different different weather, different climate, different uh, humidity, like Arizona's dry. So I cannot tell you, okay, do it two weeks, do it three weeks for the succulents. Because you're gonna have, uh, Lucas, can you tell the fire ants to leave me alone? They got me too. They got you everywhere, okay. So you're just gonna do this and leave it here until you see this red little, this red, this red over here coming out, you're gonna see them before you see the plant. They're all gonna start having little red roots, okay? Red, red roots, and um, and then you're gonna start miss them. Miss them every other day. Miss, 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 miss with the hose or with the spray bottle. I like the hose better because I go side to side and miss them. Walk away. Two days later, you miss them again. You gotta keep missing them every two days. After the roots, after these babies chew roots, can be a week, can be two weeks, can be two weeks or more, depends where you live. And like I said, this is a very, very slow process. So you have to have patience, okay? So that's what it is for the succulents, okay? Um, and after that, when they about this size, this size, you can remove them gently and they will have roots over here, okay? They will have baby roots over there. And then what you do, just gently kill, kill, cut this because I, you don't wanna take a chance to bury this and then you will have root rot. So these little babies over here, they are ready to be planted just like this, okay? This to bed. I'm gonna take them and plant them in a four inch little pot. This one is ready. This one is ready, this one is ready, and that's about it. I had to wait for the rest. Sometimes the root rot, and that's okay, but not a lot. So all the ones I have, I have a lot of more, and they all did the same, okay? Now, we're done with this, okay? So now, I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I was growing up, is this little girl, maybe seven years old, they live in a corner house. In a kitty corner is the little lady, she must be 91 years old or more, I don't remember. So anyway, this little lady was so old that she don't know how old she was. She was like this and she had a big, big carp over here. I'm not, kidding. I'm not lying to you, huge. That's how old, old she was, very old, anyway. She live in a little house. She has um, a lot of pigs. She has sheep, roosters. She have um, dogs, 
and she live alone in that little house. She was very, very old with nobody to take care of her, okay? Nobody to care for her. The only daughter that she had, her daughter, I guess, was not too nice, broke, broke her mother's hand, besides the phone. I'm not gonna go into details, but all like you, you can imagine, breaking your mother's hand in purpose. Anyway, so the little girl who, uh, was, uh, has um, a lot of family, a lot of brothers and sisters, but the little girl, all those cross the tree and go help the little, the little lady. Uh, she have a big corral with red ties around where the pigs, maybe six, seven pigs, big pigs, and she have a little shelter for the pigs, okay? A little house, like a little cottage shelter for the pigs. When one rain or two cars, the pigs will run there. So the little girl will go there and, and uh, get the hose and watch everything now in the, in the pig area and watch the pigs. The pigs love the water, okay? That's one of the things the little girl went help the little lady. Also went and sweep all the all the yard because it was a lot of sheep, uh, cats, dogs, and a lot of stuff over there. And uh, she also feed the animals, the pigs, the, the, the animals. The little lady have in her house uh, back then, no stoves, nothing. So the little lady has a palm house. And around the house was no walls, only palm centers. The center of the palm, she will have them like this, like this, like this. You can see through like this much. And uh, it was all fine, that was regular life back then. And I remember uh, uh, the, the, the little girl seeing the baskets hanging all over the kitchen like this in the kitchen like this with a little twine and that's where she will keep her food like cheese she will keep her beans she can keep all the stuff in there even meat because over there when you buy meat you buy it fresh you buy the meat fresh daily to eat so you go in the morning buy the meat and you come home and maybe it's gonna be two hours before you cook it you throw it in there it's safe you throw it in there and hang it and uh, you when you're ready to cook it the same day you cook it the same thing with the milk and the beans, okay? Over there, milk is 100% natural, okay? No chemicals, so the, you get it from the cow every day. So what you do with the milk, if, for example, you get a gallon of milk from the cows right now, you drink what you have to drink. After that, you go and boil it. Boil it until it's a boiling point hot. You take it out of the, um, the clay, stove because that's what it was no stove clay uh, this big uh, table like this make of clay with this little um a little part this is what it, we cook back then with a little thing like this okay just like this all make of clay just like this okay and that what you do you pull your wood right here okay and you buy fire and you put your past there so just keep feeding the, the wood in there and you cook your food there, okay? You cook your food there. When you're gonna make bread, tortillas, you put a flat metal, you grease it, clean it, and that's why you make your tortillas by hand. No such thing, anything, just by hand. My mother used to make it all the time. So that's why the lady have a home to cook. About the milk, she drink the milk. The next day morning, she gets up and place the mail in there again and get it to a bo boiling point, a boiling point, and it's safe, totally safe to put away again and drink it. You can do that for weeks and weeks and weeks, and you can drink the mail over and over and over and over. Okay, as long as you boil it, a boiling point every day. And that's what they did with the food over there because it was no refrigeration, okay? The beans, the same thing. So. I will go there and help her to make sure her beans were, were a, point, a boiling point every day. I'm sorry, I used to score myself. By the way, that little girl was me, okay? Was me going to help Nico. Her name was Nico, Nicolasa, and I really, really love her more than even my own family over there when I was there. To this day, I never forgot her. Anyway, she was so much, so, so much fun, so sweet to me, I was little. And um, that was the story for today. And now we can let Lucas go home. And Lucas, sa Saturday, 
and he's going home to rest for the weekend and I hope he has a beautiful weekend and uh, when do you gonna make your appearance Lucas? Um, I can pay you want me to extra like uh, do you want me to flip the camera and just say hi a hundred a hundred dollars maybe how much you want you no want give me the camera no you want me to flip no I'll flip it and say hi no give me the camera no, 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 Lucas you I, I swear I swear I'll be I gonna be fair no I'm not ready for that okay go ahead then do okay. whatever you want you want me to flip the camera yeah say hi yeah. I'm Lucas and I I'm the one Hi, I'm Lucas. Uh, I'm the no, one. no. What don't do you want me to say? Ready? Say, I'm, well, whatever you want to say, but don't hang up with people. Remember? Pull it out a, far, a little far away from the place that you can say. Say your name. My name's Luke. Can you cancel? Say, you <laughs> cancel. <laughs> sure. Blue eyes, cancel boy. Okay? And don't you think? He's, uh, he's, that's Lucas then. Okay? That's me. You guys asking about Lucas? That Lucas that's me. Guy. And I, uh, he's like my son. Sometimes I went spanking with a broom. Until next time, from Maria's Garden, I love everybody. Bye-bye.